Are you tired of the bloated operating systems packed with apps you never use? Imagine a Fedora installation. So lean, it only includes exactly what you need and nothing more. Today, we're diving into the Fedora Net install to discover if this minimalist approach really gives you a rock solid, modern system or if it leaves you scrambled to fill in the gaps. Let's first start with the allure of minimalism. Why Net install? In an era where every megabyte counts and control is king, Fedora's net install offers a promise. Install only the components you choose, pulling each package over the network as you go. No extra desktop environments you will never touch, no unwanted background services slowing you down. But with great power comes great choice paralysis. So, why pick this path in 2025? For power users who crave ultimate customization. For admins who deploy hundreds of machines with identical footprints. Or simply for anyone who wants to build from the ground up. Net install is the ultimate blank canvas. Now, the bare bones experience. What do you actually get? Let's walk through the process. Booting the net install ISO lands you in a text based installer that prompts you step by step. First, the language, keyboard layout, network configuration. So there is no flashy live desktop, just a direct line to your network mirror. On first boot, you land in the minimal shell you selected. Greeted by a prompt rather than a full GUI. It feels fast, lighter on RAM and disk space. But you will notice right away that things we take for granted like a web browser or a sound support are absent. That absence is both liberating and at first a little jeering. Now, the essential add-ons. Build your system. Once the dust settles, you begin to assemble a quick DNF install Firefox GNOME external library office. Brings back the basics. Browsing, command line, office productivity. Hardware compatibility might need a bit more elbow grease. Installing RPM Fusion repositories to pull in proprietary drivers for Wi-Fi, NVIDIA graphics, even Bluetooth audio. Then comes your desktop environment of choice. DNF Group Install KDE Plasma Workspace or DNF Group Install XFCE Desktop. Before long, you'll rebuild a full Fedora workstation. But every piece was chosen by you, ensuring no hidden services or background processes you don't want. Now, the verdict. Is it truly enough? After spending a day with this hand-picked setup, the benefits are clear. Boot times shave off seconds. Resources are lean. And there is satisfaction in knowing exactly what's running. Yet it's not for everyone. The initial effort can feel tedious for newcomers. And troubleshooting a missing dependencies can be a head scratcher if you haven't done it before. Fedora Net Install shines for developers who script repeatedly installs, for admins who need uniform servers, and for enthusiasts who enjoy full control. But if you create a plug and play workstation out of the box, the standard Fedora Workstation ISO may still be your best friend. So now, beyond the install, optimizing and maintaining. Once your system stands, there's more to do. Lock down SSH with key-based access. Enable automatic security updates and configure DNF automatic to keep your system patched. Tweak general logs to rotate less frequently or set up a lightweight firewall with Firewall T. And when a new Fedora release arrives, your minimal setup means a faster upgrade path with fewer conflicts. Don't forget the vibrant Fedora community, forums, mailing lists, and IRC channels abound with tips for streamlining and customizing your net install further. So, is Fedora net install the future of streamlined Linux setups or a frustrating rabbit hole? It depends on how much control you crave. If you love tailoring every component and squeezing every drop of performance out of your hardware, 
this is your playground for everyone else the full federal workstation remains a powerful ready to go option let me know in the comments which path you would choose and don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the heart of linux thanks for watching and i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out